Hello, geometrical figures topic. This is tests for similar triangles and this is our fourth test that we're looking at, the RHS test. If we're checking to see whether two triangles are similar, we can apply one of four tests. We've had videos on the SSS, SAS, AAA tests for similar triangles and this one's the RHS test. This one states if the hypotenuse and a second side of a right angle triangle are proportional or in the same ratio to the hypotenuse and the second side of another right angle triangle, the triangles are similar. Best to see this in, is, is in an example and see if it makes sense then. Okay, we're asked to prove that the triangle DEF is similar to triangle PQR. So let's have a look at the, um, the statements we could make here. The RHS test, this sort of tells you what information we're kind of looking for. Let's have a look at uh, and see if there's some right angle triangles in each of the triangles. And I'm sure we can name them. So let's name them as part of our first line of working here. Triangle, uh, sorry, angle DEF. Is a, is a 90 degree angle, as is angle PQR. We'll name them carefully with the vertex of the angle, the corner of the angle in the middle, the letter for that. The E is in the middle and the, P, the Q is in the middle. Um, so we have that and we're saying that they're both 90 degrees, so therefore they're, we could call them right angles. That's given to us in the question. So that's a, a right angle statement we've made really. Now the H uh, in the RHS test stands for hypotenuse. Let's make a statement about the hypotenuse. Let's see the relationship between the hypotenuse in the smaller triangle and the hypotenuse in the bigger triangle. DF is the hypotenuse in the small triangle just down here and it's 12 uh, units and PR in the the hypotenuse in the larger triangle is 16, so we can say the ratio between the small triangle, the first triangle and the second triangle is 12 to 16. Well, now we'll just uh, simplify that ratio and we'll see that that boils down to 3 to 4 ratio. And we've got to see if the other side statement we make uh, in the next line of working has the same ratio as well or holds the same proportion between one triangle and the other. So that uh, hypotenuse statement is given because we got the got the numbers from the question given to us. So it's a hypotenuse type statement we, we're listing there. So we've done a right angle, an R statement. We've done a hypotenuse statement. So now we're just looking for another side statement to make between the two triangles and we'll see if this has got the same ratio as the hypotenuse statement here. So the other side that we've got that's not the hypotenuse, we've got DE which is 6 and PQ which is 8. Now if we write that ratio down 6 to 8 and we simplify it that will simplify down to 3 to 4 as well. So it's got the same ratio there nicely for us. So that's a side statement and you'll notice that the hypotenuse statement and the side statement once we simplified the ratios of the sides there they had the same proportion or the same ratio. So that's nice. That'll add up to enough information for us to say that triangle DEF is similar to triangle PQR because we have RHS as the test and we've gathered enough information to establish each of those items that we need for the RHS test for similar triangles. So the test said, just to recap, if the hypotenuse and the second side of a right angle triangle are proportional or in the same ratio to the hypotenuse and a second side of another right angle triangle, the triangles are similar. Boy, uh, I'm glad we've had the example to work through because that's uh, certainly a mouthful there. But have a look at the working and uh, check the video out again if you need to. So there are the four tests for similar triangles we've been through. SSS. Um, SAS, uh, AAA and RHS for similar triangles. Hope that helps. PeterBlakeMaths.com. Catch you next time.